morning children myself i am purushottam gaur math teacher jphs alek mandal nagar children real numbers is the topic for this session actually what are real numbers what are different numbers which we discussed already in our previous classes we are going to recall these numbers okay children natural numbers countable numbers are called natural numbers and it denotes it by n natural number n is equal to 1 2 3 so and so note the smallest natural number is 1 and the largest number cannot be determined next whole numbers the natural numbers along with zero are called whole numbers it's denoted by w w is equal to set of 0 1 2 3 so and so note the smallest whole number is zero and the largest whole number cannot be determined now about integers integers means set of the set of whole numbers along with the negatives it's denoted by z sir z is equal to set of negative natural numbers and zero and positive natural numbers and note 1 2 3 uh, we treated as these are the positive integers and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 we treated as negative integers zero is neither positive nor negative if we want to plot on a number line we get like this zero is we get in the middle list and right side or positive integers and left side negative integers now rational numbers or we say as quotient numbers a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 is called a rational numbers it is denoted by q q is equal to set of x such that x is belongs to p by q where q is not equal to 0 and p comma q belongs to z children today now we have to discuss about which are rational numbers which are not rational numbers already we know the definition about rational numbers what is that rational number means a number which can be written in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0 and p comma q belongs to z z means integers suppose i am taking a number just i am selecting a number from natural numbers example 2 2 i am writing as like a 2 by 1 what happen it is in the form of p by q p by q means numerator by denominator okay next what about denominator 1 means here there is no zero means q is not equal to zero and this p and q means this 2 and 1 are belonging to integers so that every natural number is a rational number clear next go for whole numbers in the whole numbers you select one number from whole number group of whole numbers example i took 0 a zero we can write as 0 by 1 zero we can write as 0 by 1 what happens then it is also in the form of p by q it also in the form of p by q here also q means denominator denominator is not equal to 0 and also 0 and 1 are belongs to integers so that every whole number is a rational number next you select any number from integers example i took minus 3 from the group of integers this minus 3 i can able to write minus 3 by 1 yes it is also in the form of p by q and q is not equal to 0 and both are present in group of integers that's why every integer is a rational number and one more terminating decimals that terminating decimal example 0.3 is there I took this 0.3. We can write as 0.3 as 3 by 10. Sorry, or yes, 3 by 10. And 2.32. Simply, 
SLP 2.32 232 by 100. We can write as like this. It is also in the form of P by Q. And 100 is not equal to 0. That's why every terminating decimal is a rational number. Here non-terminating recurring decimal. Example 0.3 power is there. What is the meaning of 0.3? We can write as 0.3 power as 0.3338. It is non-terminating recurring decimal. This non-terminating recurring decimal we can write as it is 3 by 9. So and 2.32 power that means 2.3232 so and so. This also we can write as 230 by 99 means every non-terminating recurring decimal is also we can write as p by q form so that natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, terminating decimals, non-terminating recurring decimals, these all be treated as rational numbers. Now see children, here I am writing as 4 by 0. Is it rational number? Can you say? It is in the form of P by Q. Yes. But at the place of Q is equal to 0. At the place of Q is equal to 0. That's why it is not a rational number. Next. Example. Root 2 by 1. Is it rational number? It is in the form of P by Q. Yes, clear. Q also not equal to 0. But it is not satisfies one condition. That is, this root 2 is not there in the group of integers. That's why it is also not a rational number. Examples, root 2 by root 3. Is it rational number? No, it is also not a rational number. Because it is also P by Q form. But here also Q is not equal to 0. But these two numbers are not present in group of integers. And one more children. Example root 4 by 2. Is it rational number? Yes, it is rational number. Because root 4 we can write as 2. 2 by 2 means 1. It is rational number. Because it is in the form of P by Q where q is not equal to 0 and both p and q are belonging to z. Have you understood clearly children? Like this you can identify whether it is rational number or not. Can you understand for all? Good children. Thank you. Irrational numbers. A number which cannot be written in the form of p by q or p comma q not belonging to z or q is not equal to 0 means a number which cannot be written in the form of p by q. Example, uh, note a number which is in the form of non-terminating and non-repeating decimal is called an irrational number. Example, root 2 value. What is the root 2 value? 1.41421356. Is it a repeating? No, it is not non-repeating. And a root 3 value also. 1.73205080075. There is no pattern. There is no pattern to return. Repeating. Pi value. Pi value also 3.14159265. It is also non-repeating. So pi value is also 3.14159265. So and so. So this is also non-repeating, non-recurring decimal. So that these all numbers were treated as the irrational numbers. Okay, real numbers. Now real numbers. Numbers which can be represented on a number line. The numbers which can be represented on a number line, such numbers are called real numbers. That means the real numbers is the set of all rational numbers and the irrational numbers. R is equal to rational number union irrational. 